Hello and welcome to the tutorial on negative numbers. In this tutorial we will look at negative numbers before and after up to minus 1000. So let's have a look at the first number we're going to work through. We've got negative or minus 747. And the question is, what number comes after? What number comes after 747? Now to do this, I'm sure you can work this out, but let's imagine we've got a number line. We've got zero in the middle, we've got minus 1000 on the left, and we've got 1000 plus 1000 on the right. So the number minus 747, let's write that down. Where do we think that's going to be? It's going to be roughly about here. It's minus 747. Now what number comes after this? Now don't forget, all the numbers that come after go to the right. That's after. I'm just going to rub this out and do this in the same colour as after. So what number comes after? We're going towards the right. So therefore, what number comes after? We're effectively going from here, we're taking one, stump back, uh, one jump in the right direction. The number after is minus 740, and it becomes 6. Don't forget, we're counting from 0 all the way to minus 1000 on the left. So this number, minus 747, the one before it is minus 746. Now we're going to have a look at the number before this one. So what is the number before minus 747? Well, we've got minus 747 here. The number before, if we're doing before, we're going in this direction on the number line. We're going towards the left. So we are effectively going from here. We're taking one jump back. The number before it is minus 740, and I'm not sure if you can read that, 748. It's one jump back. Now that should all be very clear and straightforward. We're now going to look at two more examples, because these can be somewhat tricky. Let's assume we got the number minus 800, and the question is, what number comes after? What number comes after minus 800? Well, first of all, let's find number 800, minus 800, on the number line. We're just going to change colors for this. It's going to be, let's use the orangey brown color. It's going to be about here. So we go minus 800. The number after it means we're going in this direction. So the number after it becomes minus 799. We're going towards the right. That should all be very straightforward. We're going to look at one more example. Suppose we got minus 499. The question this time is, what number comes before this? What number comes before minus 499? Let's find this on the number line. It should be about here, I think. Minus 499. And now we're going to take one jump back. One jump back means the number is now minus 500. Have a close look at the number line and look where minus 1000 is and where 0 is. That's why we're taking one step back and it is going from minus 499 to minus 500. And that is how we calculate numbers before and after with numbers up to minus 1000. Be very, very careful 
if you're dealing with negative numbers so you can work out which number is before and after.